Hello, bye. Oh, our last lecture was related to the array uh, in which we uh, discussed the uh, how array work in Java and how we take values from user uh, related to the array. And in this lecture, we will talk further about the arrays in a Java and we will discuss how array works and how we perform different uh, operations using array and and and, and we change. Okay. And let, uh, let me remind you last lecture what we did, uh, for example, if we take an array of of 10 size. So what it will be, this will be the array of simple a of 0, a of 1, let me reduce it to the 5, a of 1. array at 0 array at 1 array at 2 array at 3 and array at 4 because we have a size of 5 so our first index will be 0 and last index will be 4 indexes will be 0 to 4 so when uh, um, when I will say use array uh, so I will have uh, 5 values of array which I can store in it so for example if uh, uh, I take an array and in which see the user uh, uh, give memory value or as in last lecture I explained you can take value from user by using scanner scanner class and then by using it you can take value for example if user give the value uh, this one is 5 0 2 let me take a random value okay so these are the random value i have array of 5 size and uh, array at uh, at index 0 we have 5 well element uh, value 5 at uh, index 1 we have a 0 at index 2 we have 2 and at 3 1 and at 4 we have a 9 so uh, for example if i say you you have to sort this array I uh, mean, uh, if currently it is in a random state, it is not in a sequence, we have to sort the array. So, for this purpose, uh, let me tell you what we will do. Uh, we will, uh, I will create logic uh, with you, so it will, uh, it will help you, so how to create the logic while you are solving the problem. So, uh, I, uh, okay, so now we will try to uh, solve it. What we can do, for example, if I have to, uh, let's leave the code. For example, in uh, mathematical operation type, what we will do if we have to sort it. For example, if I want to sort it like 9, 5, 2, 0, 1 or 1, 0, 2, 5, 9. What we will do, we have to create logic so we can sort it. There are different uh, algorithm we can use, we can choose, uh, but uh, I uh, I will uh, in this lecture I will tell you about the bubble sorting. So what bubble sorting do? It will basically swap the elements and it, and uh, convert the array and into a sequence. For example, if I will check this element is less than this element then swap this in this case what it will be do it will check 5 is less than 0 then 0 will be on a place of 5 and 5 will be placed on a 0 then 5 will be checked by next element then it will be checked by next element at at one point 5 will be on sequence position so how we will do it from blue we have to, because we have to perform operation on array so we have to do it by loop they, uh, so, uh, you, for example, if I can use for loop, you can use uh, while as well and any other, but at this situation we know the size of the array and uh, we have to increment by one by one, so I will use the uh, in uh, for loop. i is equal to 0 because my first index is 0, i is less than, I know the size of array, i plus plus. This is why I am creating a, I will take a loop. 
so what this loop will uh, this loop will simple iterate on a function but for example as i explained you uh, uh, i have to compare these two elements then next two element next two element and then next two it means my uh, there will be a one loop which will be iterated again and again till the specific element reach at it reach at its specific uh, at its right position so for which i will i will need to take an other internal loop in j is equal to this loop will start we will discuss we will create logic and uh, its maximum limit can be inside not more than a side and j plus plus so in programming language we say it's it's an external loop external loop and this is an internal loop because it is inside the one loop so every loop which it will be inside it for other loop it will be external and uh, the next will be internal but in that scenario we have only two loop one is the external and one is the internal so uh, i currently did not this is currently i did not put any value here so from where j will start let's create uh, a logic on it i have i told you that in the next uh, uh, what we will do for example we are on a zero state then i will compare the uh, zero and one element then i will compare the next element mean one and two two and three three and four so if i have one array as index zero then i mean uh, i need an other of one so for this i will need the next element of i so according to that my logic will be i plus one so if it will be zero then it will be i plus one and if it will be one then it will be one plus one two and what we will do we have to compare if array at index j is greater than array at index i array at index i so i am comparing the two element okay, if array at element j j is i plus one i will execute it dry run it and will show you how it will be work so i will i am comparing the two elements if one element is greater okay array at j if array at position j is greater than array at position i then what we have to do what we are doing we are doing a sorting and uh, for sorting we have to swap the element mean we have to move the element either move the biggest element from toward top or toward down so if uh, I, we have to uh, do that this uh, uh, swapping by uh, in a descending order so we have to move the biggest element at the top and we have if we have to do in a ascending in a ascending order then we have to move the biggest element toward the downward okay so uh, array, uh, uh, we have to swap the element what, uh, because for, uh, i will compare the two element and then will swap element for, uh, i i will come for example i will compare these two element and in this if one is uh, if this is the greater i will move it to there because we have uh, i am doing the in a descending order so if this will be greater than uh, to this then i will swap this and so on so for swapping what we will do for example if you have a two glass of uh, uh, two glass and in one glass you have a milk and in another glass you have a water so i if i will uh, if i say you to swap these elements what you will do uh, we, you will take an other glass and you will put uh, uh, put a swap the uh, put the one thing either milk or either water in another glass and then you will do the swapping same we will do here we will take an other variable with the name of temp it is a simple temp uh, mean for temporary and i will take uh, and i will take a copy of any of the value either uh, either this or this mean and uh, to, I, I am going to share these two elements so i will take the copy of one element 
I will, for example, if I take the copy of array at position i, and now I have a copy of array at i, now I will put the other element at position i, then there will be array at j, and now I will change array at j with a tab. So this is our code. Uh, which will do swapping for this code is a swapping part swapping okay now we will execute it and we will uh, check it how it will run and how our array uh, element in array will be sorted so in a start when loop will be start it will create an i in a memory and a memory it will be at zero zero is less than five Yes, condition two. It will come inside next loop. It will have j. J is a i plus one, so it will be one because i is one and is less than five. J is less than five. Condition two. If you, uh, you uh, for this lecture, you should know about the loop. If you don't uh, uh, take the lecture on loop, you can simply go to the previous lectures and find the loop lecture, and you will uh, you can take it. Okay, you can learn from it. Okay, J A I uh, I is less than five. Now condition is true. It will come inside at uh, this condition if array at position J. What is J? J is the I. If array at position I, this one means zero. If greater than greater than array at position I. What is I? I is a zero. So array at position zero is a five. 0 is greater than 5 now, condition now. This whole block will not be executed because this is based on a, this condition and this condition is not true at this time. It will now come again to J. J is basically because this is an internal loop. Until uh, internal loop will uh, not executed completely, it will not go toward the external loop. So when once uh, it will uh, the internal loop will be completed, then it will go again to the external loop, change its value, and for each value of i j loop will be executed. So it will go to j, and it will j will be plus plus j will be two. Two is less than five. Yes, condition is true. Two is less than five. It will come inside if array at position j. Now j is two, so it will check this. If array at position two is greater than array at position 5 if 2 is greater than 5 condition is again wrong and so in this case this whole block will not execute again and it will increment the j j will be increment 3 3 is less than 5 condition true now it will check array at position j j is 3 array at position 3 it will check 1 if either 1 is greater than i is still same i is 0 array at position i i the uh, 0 is a 5 1 is best greater than 5 condition now. it will go again j will increment again j will be 4 4 is less than 5 condition is 2 it will come the, on this condition array at position j j is 4 and at 4 we have a 9 and if 9 is greater than array at position 0, 0 is a 5. Yes, 9 is greater than 5. So we have, our this condition is true in this side. It will come inside, it will take a temp variable, declare a temp variable inside, it will declare a temp variable inside, uh, uh, inside the memory, uh, declare inside the memory and what we will put array at i i array at 0 we have a 5 it will uh, uh, assign it a 5 then what we need array at position i array at position 0 we are putting array at position j j 1 9 so basically we are assigning it 9 because we already have a copy of 5 so on next array at position j j is a 4 until j is a 4 so on 4 we are assigning it 10 10 is a 5 so you see previously it was a 5 and it was a 9 we did its swapping because i told you our target is to move the biggest number on the upper side so our 9 is the largest and we moved it to the top our code did it and then j will be increased and j will be 5 5 is less than 5 condition wrong now this whole loop internal loop will not 
will skip and it will go on the external loop i plus plus i increase it will come inside j is equal to i plus one now this time i is already one one plus one two two is less than five condition true it will come on the inside this condition if array at position j j is two if array at position j it is checking it if array at position j is greater than array at position i i is one so these are comparing these two elements if two is greater than Area position i uh, one which is zero. If two is greater than zero, condition is true. So what we will do? Temp is equal to array at i. I is a one. Array at i is a zero. It will save it as zero. And now array at i at array at i is equal to array at j. So currently array uh, i is a one and j is a two. So uh, at array at one we will Assign array at position two, two, which is two. Now array at position j, array at I mean array at position two will be assigned at ten. So it will be zero. So as you see, we swap these two elements as two was the uh, as two was the greater than zero. So as our target is to move the bigger element toward upward, so we swap these two elements. Then j will further increase and j will be three. Three less than five. Condition true. It will come inside array at position three, which is this. Is comparing with greater than array at position i. I is a one. It is comparing one with two. If one is greater than two, so. Currently, we are comparing array at j three, array at position three, which is one, with array at position i. I is one, so array at position one. This one. So one is greater than you know condition wrong, or this condition will not execute. J will increment. J will be four. Four is less than five. Condition true. It will come inside array at position four. Now we are checking this element with array at position i. I is a one. Now we are comparing these two elements. If five, if five array at position four is a five and array at position one is a two. If five is greater than two, yes, condition is true. It will come inside in on time. We will keep the array at position i, i uh, which is basically two, which is basically two, and then array at position. And then array at position i, we will keep array at position j, so it will be five. And then array at j, it will be ten, so it will be two. So again, we swap the two elements because five is greater than two. We swap these two elements and five on the upside and two on the downside. Okay, now again j will be increased. It will be five. Five is less than five. Condition false. I will um, give, uh, go to the external loop. I will increase. It will be two. Now j will start from two plus one three. Three is less than five. Yes. Condition two. It will come inside if array and position array and position j j is a three. If array and position this is greater than array and position i i is a two. This. So we are comparing these two elements. One with the zero. So one is greater than zero. Yes, condition is true. Our swapping code will simply swap it. It will be one. It will be zero. J will be increment. J will be four. Four is less than five. Yes, condition is true. If array at position J, J is four, is greater than array at position I. I is two. One. So we are comparing two with one. Two is greater than one. Yes, two is greater than one. Our code will swapping code will simply swap it. And then j will be increment. J will be five. J is less five is less than five. Condition wrong again. I I will be increased by one. It will be three. Three plus one. At this time j is starting from four because i is three and j is i plus one. Now it will come inside. I will condition will check if array at position four is greater than array at position three, which is this. Now comparing these two elements. So what it is checking if i is greater than zero. Yes, condition two. Our swapping code will simply swap. 
again j will increment 5 5 is less than 5 prediction wrong it will go uh, on external loop and it will increase i by 1 it will be 4 4 is less than 5 condition true it will come inside and at this time 4 plus 1 it will be 5 5 is less than 5 condition wrong and our whole this loop will not be internal loop will not be executed it will go to the i i will be 5 and 5 is less than 5 condition norm and our code is complete if for example after this code if using for loop i print the element of array then it will be all the element are sorted in a uh, in a descending form one thing you check the error uh, our last condition was uh, mean did not uh, we uh, it was uh, extra because at this time when I increase it to the when I was four and four plus one is less than uh, already five so we will simply change can change it to four as well rather than this file I will simply can say size minus one which is the four so it will simply and uh, this time when I was checking that i is i is four and four is less than five it will come inside and uh, on inside uh, I four plus one is a five and five is already less uh, not less than five so it is simply executed one uh, one uh, two uh, one more step so uh, to save time we can simply uh, do by this as well otherwise you can simply save it by less than seven so this is our code we say it is a bubble sorting we have different sorting algorithm you can check it by yourself and uh, practice it by yourself other some uh, quick sort multi sort insertion sort and some other as well you can check it and uh, in this we simply swap the uh, by using swapping approach we simply uh, comparing two elements and in case if you, uh, I did it in a ascending order, uh, uh, sorry descending order, if you want to do it in an ascending order, you will simply have to change this condition from greater than to less than. Because I uh, in a less than j is always a i plus one. So what it is doing? If for example this is a i, I this is a j, it is comparing if this element is greater than this element and it is moving swapping the element mean greater element is coming on a top and uh, the lo uh, uh, lower element is coming on a on down side so if i change this size to less than so what it will uh, so if this element is less than this element so in that case uh, small element is coming on upside and large element are coming on downside so in that case if i will change this condition from greater than to less than it will uh, sort the way uh, in a ascending uh, ascending form and uh, simple so you can run it and uh, i will also uh, uh, put the exercise at the end and uh, of let me where we will uh, uh, write this code and we'll execute and we'll check how it is working one thing i want to tell you there uh, i declared the temp variable inside uh, this is regarding the good uh, programming approach tip you can say um, as I already told you in previous lecture, if I will, uh, whenever we declare the variable, it declared in our memory. So if I declare the variable inside the loop, it will declare again and again inside the memory when my uh, this loop, uh, this condition will be executed. So rather than this, for good practice approach, we will simply do that and don't declare it here. So what is the difference between that? It, is, it will be declared only one time in a memory and it was declaring it again and again when my this condition was true so regarding my memory uh, memory management uh, this is the best approach uh, for good pro uh, programming yes you can also declare there but for the memory management uh, it, this is the better approach and yes uh, for uh, assigning definitely you declare the variable for assigning it a new value again and again you can assign it a new value but for declaring purpose every time you declare a variable you declare in a memory and you consume the memory so rather we will declare it outside the loop so 
uh, you can practice it. I will also uh, put the uh, uh, networking approach, and we will come with the next lecture, and I will upload. Uh, I will put uh, after it to the our networking uh, networking code, and you can try it by yourself. And also, you should try the other algo and check the difference between them. Okay, thank you. Okay, we created a class with name bubble sort we will create main method okay what we have to do we create the array with a size of 5 and you can simply take values from user as well as i explained in a previous lecture you can check it from there here i will do manually uh, I, I, I was i think was a five uh, a zero at five at one it was zero at two it was two at, at, at three it was one and at, at four nine okay so what we have to and array at five is equal to ten what is the issue with this line those who take the previous lecture will know about the issue okay we will check it when we will execute the code let's write the loop code and i is equal to zero i is less than less than five i plus plus and then for in j is equal to i plus one j is less than uh, there are two ways uh, first is we know the size and in other case for example if I have such change there is another way in a Java we have the length of array we can use it as well it will be also give the 5 it will be 5 because array length is a 5 so here is the condition if array if array at position j is greater than greater than array at position i greater than array at position i so what we have to do we simply have to take well in temp is equal to array at i and uh, array at i is equal to array at position j and then array at j will be temp so this is our code let me print all the element of array before sorting events of array before sorting as well so we can compare the element so let execute you can run it by there and or if you have only one main class in your project then you can run it from this run button also control f11 okay let me run file okay so here is an exception at line 22 so on line 22 is giving the exception of array index out of bound exception basically our array size is a 5 and I am trying to access its index 5 if array size is a 5 then it means its maximum in, uh, max index will be 4 I can't access 5 so I am trying to access out of bound index of array so it is array index out of bound exception let me remove it and now run it 
okay so before sorting it was 50219 and after sorting it was 95210 and this is in a descending order if I want to do it in ascending I will simply change greater than to left than and it will be you see it will be now in a ascending order 01259 and one thing I mentioned in lecture it is a I, we have to declare this variable outside the loop and simply do that for memory point of view so you can try it but practice it and you can also try the uh, other uh, sorting algorithm because it is a bubble sort you can try quick sort my sort insertion sort and check the difference how it's working dry run it as I explained you uh, in a board lecture and, uh, and practice it we will meet in our next lecture and don't forget to subscribe the channel and also share it with other and also click the bell icon so you will get update when I will upload get notification when I will upload next video thank you